Hello, my name is Kamudi and I'm from the product marketing team here at Workado. We are excited to introduce the newly designed recipe editor. It's designed for speed, simplifies the UX to reduce effort, and redefines collaboration. In this demo, I will walk you through the experience of creating a recipe by building an automation for escalating a support case to engineering. As before, I will go to the recipe homepage and click on the Create Recipe button. Now, in this new experience, we have made it easy for you to take actions faster. First, I will give a unique name for the automation, Support Case Escalation. Next, I will move it into the right project folder, which is Ticket Escalation. Finally, I will choose a starting point for this automation, which is Trigger from an App. As you can see, it's easy to choose other types, like Run on a Schedule, Webhook, or even a bot, depending on what you want to automate. This takes us to the next step, which is choosing the application for the trigger event. Right up front, you can see that all your connected and frequently used applications are at the top of the panel. All the other applications are shown below, so you can quickly access the right app with a single click. For the trigger app, I will choose Salesforce, and then choose a Salesforce connection I want to use. After this, I will choose our trigger event. As you can see, it's easier for you to view all available triggers in a single glance. Additionally, you will see Workado uses machine learning and AI to recommend the most relevant triggers for your automation. For this demo, I will choose new updated case and configure the trigger to pick up events from the beginning of time. As you go through the process of configuring the trigger, the step-by-step -step guide at the top makes it easy to situate your progress and easily navigate to any step of the process. Now that the trigger has been set up, we will move to set up actions. Here, I will choose an if-else action to evaluate conditions, such as the type of case to specify what the automation will do. The data tree is no longer persistent. It stays minimized when you're viewing the recipe steps and data mappings. Here, the data tree is situation aware and automatically expands to a normal size as I get ready to map data pills. Additionally, you can also resize it. Maximize the data tree view when you need to, to give you more viewing space to read data pill descriptions, browse nested data structures. You can control whatever size fits your needs. Here, I will say if the data field, which is the status of the Salesforce case, is equal to the value new, then I will select an application for our action. Similar to trigger setup, you can quickly scan your connected apps and other related apps for your action step. Here, I will choose Jira and connect to my JIRA account. Again, I will select an action from the list, create new issue with a simple click. Then I will move to map the JIRA issue fields with the data from the Salesforce case. As before, the data pill mapping case description is recommended by Workado, and I'm happy with this recommendation. After creating a JIRA issue, I will add a record in Airtable for the project management team to keep track of these escalations. I will follow the same steps, which is choose Airtable for app, select an Airtable connection in my account, and pick the Create New Record action. It will create a new record in Airtable in the base Salesforce case and set the name as the case ID. If the status is not equal to new, then we will update an issue in JIRA with the JIRA issue ID and description that was found in our data tree. We've now finished our recipe. In this new editor, Depending on which step you're in, the panel shows where you are in the recipe. Whatever is highlighted on the left is expanded on the right. Accessing the data mappings for any step in the recipe is as simple as clicking on that step and seeing the configurations for the step on the right panel. Occasionally, the recipes can have hundreds of steps and the normal view doesn't show the entire recipe. Now, you can use a zoom in and zoom out feature to fit the part of the recipe you want to review and work on. No more long scrolling and losing track of where you are. The large canvas, the flexible panels, and the smart data tree put you in control of your experience. Now that we're done with our recipe, we can save and test. With these newly designed features, building, navigating, and testing recipes just became a lot easier. Happy automating!